the third family of membrane bound receptor is single pass receptor are they are also known as enzyme linked receptor uh, this family having also sub various subtypes for example tyrosine kinase receptor this is tyrosine receptor single one time crossing the cell membrane that, that's why this is known as single cross and inside the cell uh, there is tyrosine protein tyrosine kinase protein uh, as there are uh, various tyrosine residue in this protein that's why this is known as tyrosine kinase protein so this is directly linked with these enzyme that's why it is known as enzyme linked protein once the agonist let's suppose insulin or growth factor bind with this extra extracellular domain it activating this intracellular part which is connected to this tyrosine kinase enzyme the binding of this agonist resulting the self phosphorylation of these tyrosine residue these phosphate are present uh, in the cell from the glycolysis ATP now these energy rich molecule will bind with tyrosine 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 now this is known as tyrosine phosphorylated once the tyrosine of tyrosine kinase is phosphorylated now it's become um, active this is active this active kinase then stimulating the self hydroprotein this self hydroprotein then uh, stimulating next protein which is known as uh, son of 7 protein now this son of 7 protein then stimulating a membrane bound protein uh, actually this SOS converting the GDP of this RAS protein into the GTP once this GDP is converted that is uh, phosphorylated into GTP this RAS protein is active now this RAS protein will stimulate RAF protein kinase and this RAF protein kinase will stimulate MAPK mitogen activating protein kinase now this MAPK will stimulate transcriptional factor transcriptional stimulated factor activated transcription factor will internalize in the nucleus interacting with DNA resulting special mRNA special mRNA uh, into the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm the resulting special protein now this these special protein may be a various type depend upon the uh, type of agonist binding so they may be normal cell growth to body grow they may be abnormal growth cell that is cancer they may be in glut transporter gluts are protein and now these gluts are uh, transplanted at the cell surface and glucose is internalizing from the blood into the cell now there is a glucose metabolism formation of ATP when the ATP concentration is more this ATP will stop will block the uh, gluts or this increase ATP will block the special protein in the form of GLUT so there is no more glucose when this ATP decline this will again stimulate the nucleus to produce a special protein through uh, through insulin and this is the mechanism of insulin how the insulin uh, metabolizing uh, uh, redistribute glucose yeah decreasing glucose blood uh, blood glucose level uh, uh, if some agonists bind here which are carcinogenic so after this intracellular cascade abnormal protein this abnormal protein is causes cancer so we have some drugs M MRTNAB and Jefin Jefitinib these anti-cancer drug blocking these cascade similarly growth factors and growth factors bind here and there is a after these intracellular signaling special protein and this is normal growth thank you for listening